reacted on a horrific and fiery hit and run crash in North Bay Village. And tonight, three people are dead. Police say they have the car involved, but not the driver who ran away from the deadly scene. CBS 4's Joe Gorcho is live at a memorial where the victims were being honored and has more on that manhunt. Joe? Lauren Elliott, a community gathered tonight to grieve. Neighbors here at Harbor Island in North Bay Village held a vigil honoring the three lives lost in Monday night's fatal hit and run. As you can see just over my shoulder, candles are lit. Flowers now rest at the site near the car crash. Neighbors quietly gather, heartbroken. They say a mother and her two daughters died in Monday's hit and run. Because I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother. Like, like, like Cindy, I came to this country working hard for a future. She did the same from Dubai. Estrella Garcia Ramos organized the vigil outside homes at Harbor Island. She was joined by other neighbors sharing grief in the tragedy. And yesterday was just a shock and now I think it's more of like reflection and actually realizing what happened here and the lives that were lost. Although the accident has since been cleared, charred crosswalk signs, bushes, and marks on the road from the fatal fiery crash remain. Makeup and a toy rest in the burned bushes. Longtime you. area resident Maria Garcia vividly recalls when the cars collided. Last night I, I could hear the scratch of the tires and I could hear the uh, the boom when the the car hit the the pole where we pushed the button to cross the causeway. The fatal hit and run happened before 9:30 Monday night on the 79th Street causeway just east of the bridge linking North Bay Village with Miami. Surveillance tape from a nearby gas station shows a vehicle going at a high rate of speed and then crashing in the distance. A car bursts into flames. Another man's dash cam video shows the fatal collision right in front of him as he backs up to avoid the fire. Police say two people died at the scene, while a third did not survive after being transported to the hospital. Because one stupid driver driving in our street that the max is 3540. Miami-Dade police released the name of the person of interest. His name is Julius Bernstein. He's 24 years old with a criminal record dating back to 2016. I hope that eventually they catch him because that was, that was terrible for this community. And again, police are asking for any information that could lead to the whereabouts of Bernstein. And neighbors described to us when the accident happened last night that there were helicopters flying above in search for hours of the person of interest, but the overwhelming sentiment tonight, heartbreak for the lives lost following Monday night's fatal hit and run. Joe Gorcho, CBS 4 News Tonight.